Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Tribe Forex Power Hour. I'm Marcello, and with me is Nino, a pro FX trader. Today is April 29th, 2014. We're going to do today what we've done for years, which is an analysis of the markets and evaluation of our strategies, which are based upon the daily uh, time frame and sometimes the four-hour time frame. So first, we're going to talk about how it works. We're going to get into our daily market analysis, and we're going to talk to you about our recent calls and how they have gone. Uh, before that, let me go ahead and introduce Nino. Hi, hey Nino, how are you? Hey Marcello, how are you today? I am doing wonderful. Uh, you guys had the training session yesterday in the in the live trade room. How'd that go? It went okay. We had a few. Uh, like you said, we had a good uh, sell sell off on the uh, euro dollar. We were looking for that sell. So basically, that's one that you called. You nailed it on the head. And. Uh, I think that's that trade in uh what was another one that we looked at we looked at the uh no, that's where you are in a second. The pound yen trade as well. Awesome. So Nino, what Nino does is basically on Tuesdays and Thursdays he has a live trade room from 1 to 3 a.m. Eastern Time and then again from 8 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time, completely free for you guys. It's complimentary. So I would love for you guys to check that out. It's at triforex.com. So let's go ahead and take a look at how, our, how, how this works and how we make money in this market. Um, our formula for success is that we do a 5 p.m. market analysis to determine what we call our bias. Now, a bias is essentially the probability a price or the high probability of price either going uh, up on a currency pair or going down on a currency pair. If there is a high probability that price will go up on a currency pair, we call that a buy bias. If there is a high probability that price will go down on a currency pair, we call that a sell bias. And then there are times where we actually have what we call a consolidation bias. Essentially in a consolidation bias, how that works is that we uh, play the ranges. So if price is up at, uh, we know that we're in consolidation and price is at the top of the range, then what we do is we, we, we will call a sell and then all of a sudden it becomes a sell bias for that particular moment and vice versa on uh, the lower side of the support areas. If you want to know more about that, you can always ask Nino. He's in the live trade room. He's also at triporex.com right there willing to, ask, to answer any questions that you may have. All right, so there are two ways to execute trades. One, we take a set and forget it trade which means that we set our stop loss or take profit, obviously our entry the day before, right around now. Um, and then we also can do what we uh, do in the day trading room, which is that we can take better high leverage trades to make more money at the end of the day uh, done executed properly. Day trading in the direction of our bias using our pods for bigger profits. Now, if you don't know what a pod is, go to www dot tribeforex.com, the top of the page in the menu section, you will see a trading course. You can also ask Nino, he'd be great, he'd be happy to explain that to you in uh, the live trade room or just on the website. So you can always um, you can always ask him any questions that you may have. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the charts. So uh, looking at the euro dollar, let's start with the euro dollar. So yesterday on the euro dollar, I called a sell. I said price very well can get right back up to this trend line at 138.50. I said between 138.60, um, right above 138.60. Price got up to 138.78. Okay, uh, we had a, a retest of our highs, right, of the previous day's highs, which is perfect for us. And um, actually, we got in. So if you're in the Build Wealth program, um, you actually got in on this trade, and uh, you're probably up on on some profit at this particular moment. Uh, we're going to be looking for, if you're wondering when are we going to take profit and you're salivating over the profit in that right now, um, we're just going to go ahead and hold on to that because we believe that price does have a long way to drop potentially on the euro dollar. Now, the market can turn around at any time, but the probability is, if you bear with me here, I will, we're going to look at the monthly chart. What you can notice here is that we've had a consolidation of price, okay? And this has happened for over the last six years, okay? Actually, over the last nine years we've had this consolidation and we're still in the cons consolidation pattern we're hitting an area of resistance again and that gives us a great opportunity and a great entry so we can see price come back down okay so considering that 
Um, this gives us a tremendous opportunity because we can see price come back down, number one, to this 200 EMA. I think that may be the case. And we can also see price go, you know, back down to uh, the lower trend line, the support area here at about 2,700. We also have another trend line, which would be fine by me to get to about 135. And there's also another trend line, another area of support and resistance here that we haven't named that's really at about 131.50. So there's plenty of opportunities for us to pocket money here, opportunities. There's a, there's a reversal, sell reversal doji right here. So in price has retested this area already. If it does come down, there's tremendous profitability for us if we continue down. And we can easily turn this 2% of profit into, you know, potentially a 20% profit gain or more. Um, so that's why we're going to hold on to this position. If it does close and price moves above, there's a 10% chance of that um, in the markets. It just is, you know, there's a 10% chance of a breakout um, of price when you've had consolidation over time. And we have what looks like a nine-year depending on how you look at it, six to nine year consolidation that's in play right now and we are at the highest areas of that. So uh, with that in mind, we're going to look for a move down. I've been talking about it for the last weeks and um, that's what we're going to look for. Okay, so looking at the dollar Swiss here. So on the euro dollar, I just called it. I think that we're going to have a continuation down. Um, <clears throat> we're at the end of the month, guys, by the way. So we're going to look for price to continue down, uh, downward here. And I think there's going to be potentially a bounce off of 138.18, 138.20, and then a continuation down here, maybe a, a test of, 50, 50, of the 50 EMA here at 137.85, and then potentially a breakthrough that to 137.60 or beyond. No idea where that's going to go after it goes there, but I've got to sell bias still on the euro dollar. All right, so the dollar Swiss, same exact thing, except it's inverse. Um, we have this on the weekly chart we've got a trend line underneath and we did bounce off that area and I, I said to watch for that yesterday and the day before and so we've had price going up and we do still have room for price to go up to 88.81 if I go down to the daily chart you'll notice that we had a really nice reversal candle doji right here on a trend line we're right below the 50 MA just where I said that we would be profit taking would be right at that area and then we can easily get up to 88.75 and potentially test 88.91, so back to 8,900. Um, so look for that on the dollar Swiss. I'm going to go through these relatively quickly. Pound dollar, uh, we've kind of held this range, guys. Um, it's kind of hard to see it now, but basically we have bounced off of this very same area for 68.50 for the last five years or so, okay, five or six years as well. So you can see this consolidation pattern formed here. <clears throat> and you can see that price is really testing hard, that 1.6850 area hasn't broken through quite yet. Um, we consider that price very well may continue to move downward back into this, into this channel. Um, you're not sure exactly when, but the consolidation uh, definitely looks like it wants to continue. It's not in an apex here in this red zone over here on this side. Um, it looks like it wants to push through. It hasn't pushed through yet, so we're going to be believe that price is going to move down eventually. So my long-term forecast for the pound dollar or long-term bias is a sell um, where we are today. We're really right at 168.50. Um, price can go above it, guys, but I do think there's a sell bias here on the pound dollar as well. It's consolidation bias. So what you see is two, four, six eight, nine bars, and I said that yesterday, so big 10 bars today that are within this consolidation. So if you sell 168.50, you're going to get price to come down quite a bit here. And so that is what we're looking for here, consolidation bias on the, on the pound dollar, looking for a sell. Dollar yen, now the dollar yen is also in consolidation right now, okay? Uh, we're going to look for a buy on the dollar yen, uh, believing that from 102.62, it's going to want to get back to 103.74. And I'm going to leave that at that. Pound yen, as you can see here, it's right back up at the trend line. Um, and so although it looks like if you didn't have these trend lines drawn, you'd think that it was going to continue to move up. And it very well may. We don't know what, uh, what may happen in this market. There's no one who can say that. But um, I really think that price is going to probably most likely come down to 171.50. So I've got a sell bias on the pound yen. Dollar CAD is an interesting pair to look at right now. Um, I had a, this is the one that I was not right on, if you will, 
um, we, you know, I was looking for price to bounce off of the 50 EMA and move upward. That didn't quite happen. Okay, so we have had a nice, a beautiful, if you look at the weekly, a nice reversal candle that formed there, um, and it bounced off of an area of support and resistance, so we do think that price can move up. Clearly, the CAD got stronger in the last few days. What am I going to be looking for here on this CAD? All right, so I'm looking for areas of support and resistance to substantiate where it currently is. So going swing. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going from swing high to swing high, or swing low, I should say, to swing low. So I chose the prominent swing low instead of the, the, the intermediary swing low just because it's just a, a lot stronger. Um, and so what you can see here is that we are abutting what looks like an area of support here. And we've had multiple touches, one, two, now three and four, and it looks like we may get a bounce off of that at 1.0927 and may get a move back up on the dollar cap. Okay, so I'm looking for that to happen um, in the next couple of days. Euro yen did get a nice sell. It was just about 30 or 40 pips away from our trend line at the top here that we expected to get to. I'm going to look for a price to sell off here on the euro yen, get back to the 50 EMA at 141.22 and maybe down to 141.09 after that. Who knows where, where price is going to go. Um, New Zealand dollar clearly has a buy reversal candle here and I think it's going to test this 85.67 area. And then maybe you can see a sell off. Now why do I say that? Um, if you look at the monthly, we we have a very nice channel that's formed, a nice pennant flag formation. Now I'm going to be looking for price to um, consolidate here. So either price is going to break above this or it's going to stay within this and really come back in this channel. Now if we do get this close, which is just today, by the way, um, we're closing this month, tomorrow actually, on Wednesday. Um, if we do get that close there, then you know we have this reversal candle in the weekly. We get this close right where it is or a little bit lower than this. Um, we're pretty much going to look for a nice move down on the New Zealand back all the way down to the bottom, 79.50-ish, okay, from where we are. So that's a nice 600 pip drop that we could potentially see from where we currently are. Um, so even though we have this buy reversal, I'm going to look for um, 85.67. I'm going to look for price to test 85.67 and maybe in the next two days really come down. So for sure I know that price may get a buy off of this. Not a, a lot of pips. I can't guarantee how many pips that, that are going to um, be yielded here. But um, I'm going to be looking for a reversal candle thereafter and a nice push down, um, really breaking this buy, this buy reversal candle that we have on this 50 MA just because of the bigger over um, overwhelming theme on the, on the higher time frames that we have to consider. All right, Aussie dollar. Um, so it, anyway, the Aussie dollar here, we do have a consolidation, one, two, three, four bars within each other. Uh, we could see price buy off of 92.50, come back up to the top of that to 93.02, um, and then potentially head back down again. What I do know is that price may very well get up here. Um, I also am looking most likely for a, a reversal, uh, breaking of this reversal candle low eventually, but I do see initially a buy. So if you are looking for a short-term trend, trade to make 25, 30, 40 pips off of. Um, I think that the buy direction on the Aussie dollars is the way to go, and also in the New Zealand. All right, with that, guys, that pretty much sums it up. I hope that that is helpful for you. I know that these calls have been very helpful for us um, in our trading, and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for another edition of the Tribe Forex Power Hour. All the best. Bye-bye.